And you have your little gnomes do still for you? Yes, and we all do. Yes, and they are way back there because Dauphin likes oh, to chew them. Oh, of course, these little, yeah, my little gnomes. And then I have the princesses as oh. before, the family See. of gnomes. Well, these are patterns I got from the Waldorf school. Yes, right? I remember. Now, I know, the way I remember, sometimes you would make one for clients, sometimes clients yes. would sew with you. That's sometimes right. when a child was working, you would um, you would sew while the child worked. That's right. And, oh yes. gosh, yes. I still do gnomes once in a while. Yes. And um, and sometimes you would leave some children would leave them with you. Sometimes you would make houses in boxes yes. and the little yes, gnomes would go we in. Did. We did. Yes. Oh these are lovely. They're and, even and, embroidered and these. Oh, you, yes, because they Oh all I haven't have, seen them embroidered. They all have little power symbols on there. Oh because they 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 eat nightmares and they give beautiful dreams. They have all kinds of power. Oh, oh yes. This one, these are princesses that I make for the children. Oh. Now, this this is a princess. <laughs> this is the princess of the child that I saw maybe 20 years ago. Oh. And when was it last year? I got an email from her saying that she was studying women's studies or something and she would like to speak to me. Oh. So, yeah, she's just stayed with me. So sometimes, not always, it's usually I make one that stays with me and then I make one that goes with them. Yeah. So that was made with her instructions, what she wanted it to be. And then... Um, oh, and you look... So you're... Look, my gnome. <laughs> they oh. evolved my gnomes. <laughs> this one is a, is a gnome that's going in the mama's pouch. Uh-huh. Uh, the mama gnome. Yes. And she's another princess. See, they got a little flat. She, that's another child. Yes. To work with. Oh, how lovely. And this one, this girl had short, short hair. She's an adult and has children now. Oh, so okay, how long have you been doing it now? How Those long? Long? Oh, maybe 30 how years. How long have you been working in the field? Oh, 35 or more. 35. Yeah. yeah. And yes, so you know, yeah. it's really, isn't it wonderful to see your clients move to grown ups? Well, they're all adults and they have children of their own, a lot of them, you know? And just even to watch the patterns of... Um, I used to make these ones. Uh, oh, these are interesting with the... Oh, these patterns. are like sock. Um, yeah, they yeah. have patterns. Well, oh, this one is child made herself. Oh. oh! She was very tall. Yeah. She's lovely. Yeah. I remember this one, too. <laughs> uh, but but each, is each one is a child. That yeah. That was their princess part. So, you know, so like metaphorically, when you hold these for 25 years, yes, you know, you're holding a part of them. Of course. I always remember that part of them. Mm -hmm. right. You know, you bring it out, you can see, you can yeah. remember. And I hope that they're being well looked after out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not always the case. No. Life isn't always kind to them. No. Oh, life has its challenges for the people they meet, but I I remember this one too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was, they were done with their instruction. This was the very first one I made. That's what we used. And my oh. very first princess for them. Yes, can you see? So some of them, they kind of stay. They stay. I haven't you could have a princess party. I could have a princess <laughs> party. And this is this is a king. This is a prince. And he has some of my senior's hair, you see. Oh. Yeah. Real oh. hair? Dog from her dog. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. She used to get it. Um, uh, she had somebody who could make it like into felt almost. Yeah, I had a vest with a lot of his fur. Yeah. yeah. 